What's up everybody? So in this video we're going to be talking about everything that you need to know about cell and nuclear division. So there's quite a lot of things. Look right here. We got to cover mitosis, meiosis, binary fission and budding, right? All of these things. But the bulk of the video is going to focus on mitosis and meiosis. These are the two most important things we're going to cover in this video. Now first, let's go over and do a brief introduction about these four things we're going to learn about just so you get a nice overview before we really, really dive into the nitty gritty details of all of these. So first, let's vaguely introduce mitosis and meiosis, because the names are so similar, but they're completely different processes. So take this guy here. He's a, he's a rugby player, and he obviously, as his job, he tackles people the whole time, he falls, and in the process, he definitely gets injured, right? Now, what does it mean when he gets injured, right? He's made up of billions of these cells, and when he scrapes his knee, what's happening is cells there are being uh, killed. They're being scraped off. And we know if he just rests for a couple days, he's, uh, that, that injury will heal and his skin will be um, uh, recovered, right? So that healing process is thanks to mitosis because mitosis is the process by which we duplicate a cell. So in this area, um, uh, the cells will duplicate and duplicate and try and fill in that wound that he created. Okay, so mitosis is the process by which we duplicate a cell to make an exact copy of it, an exact clone. So it's the production of two genetically identical cells. So because of mitosis, we can um, repair our bodies when we get some injury, where we lose some cells, we need to recover them. And also, another thing that's useful about mitosis is growth. Um, just like this guy, once upon a time, he was not this beast, but he was a small baby. And as he grew up, what happens is, it's not his cells that get bigger and bigger and bigger. It's rather the amount of cells that he's made of increase. So he will physically have more and more cells as he gets bigger. Not bigger and bigger cells, just more and more cells. And that is also thanks to mitosis, because as he's growing up, these cells divide and divide and make his body bigger and bigger. Okay, so that's important. The two key things, the reasons for why mitosis is important. So again, mitosis in exact making an exact copy of a cell, um, and it's important for repair and growth. Now, mitosis can happen everywhere, your face, your legs, uh, your whole body. Almost all the cells can do mitosis. So what is meiosis? Meiosis is a bit different, okay? Meiosis is the process, excuse me, is the process by which we make um, gametes. Gametes are sex cells. For example, we have sperm and egg cells. They are gametes. So I can see that's very different from mitosis. Now, why is it important for us to be able to make these sex cells, these gametes? Um, because uh, of reproduction, right? We need sperm and we need egg so that they can fertilize and make a baby. Okay, so meiosis is the process by which we make these sex cells. Now, the key difference is, remember, mitosis can happen across your entire body. This whole, this guy's whole body can do mitosis, almost all the cells. But only in a man, only the testes can do meiosis, okay? Because that's where the sperm cells are made. That's where meiosis happens in males. In females, they make the egg, right? Not this kind of egg, but rather this kind of egg cell, right? Um, they make it in the ovary, which is part of the female reproductive system. So the difference, a key difference is, Mitosis can happen almost all the cells, and meiosis only happens in the specific areas that make these sex cells, which is the testes and the ovaries. Okay, so that's a very big overview of the difference between mitosis and meiosis. Now, also, <clears throat> the next one we want to talk about is binary fission and budding. So these two. So what, what, how are they different? So binary fission is basically cell division in prokaryotic cells. So remember, we are, there's two kinds of cells that you need to know about, eukaryotic and prokaryotic cells. Me and you are made up of eukaryotic cells. We're made up of many, 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 many eukaryotic cells that comprise our body. Same with the tree outside and the lion in the zoo or the lion in the, in the safari, okay? Um, so we use mitosis to divide our cells. But prokaryotic cells, so cells like bacteria, they use binary fission, which is distinct from, from mitosis, okay? And so that's very important for reproduction for uh, prokaryotic cells. Budding is another kind of division, but it happens in um, certain fungi. Fungi is a kind of eukaryotic cell that is a bit different from our kind of eukaryotic cell. So fungi, for example, use yeast, they divide by budding, okay? That's a different process. So you can see here, 
um, that's also very important for yeast cells to be able to reproduce. So now what we just did is we overviewed those four things we got to learn about mitosis, meiosis, binary fission and budding. And again, these two don't worry about them too much. There's very little we're going to need to know about later in this video. Okay, so now that we did the intro, let's go into the nitty gritty details. So we finished now this part here. Let's go into mitosis. Okay, great. So now I got a quick question for you. Okay, this is very important. I, I think this clears up a lot of confusion for a lot of people. What do you think it means for cells to divide by mitosis? We know mitosis is basically making a clone of a cell. So, right, the production of two genetically identical cells. So if I show you this, do you think this is mitosis? We have our cell here and it splits into two. Is this mitosis? Hell no, it's not mitosis. No way. Why? Why? Because do you think these two cells are genetically identical? Are they the exact replica of the previous cell? No. Look, this cell only has these organelles, no DNA, no nucleus. This cell has all the nucleus and some other organelles. They're so different. They're not an exact copy of the original cell. So no way. Cannot just cut a cell, cell in half like that and expect it to be mitosis. What about this? What if we cut the nucleus in half so that the one cell gets half the DNA and the other cell gets half the DNA, one cell gets half the organelles and the other cells gets the other half? Is that mitosis? Also, hell no, because is are these two cells identical to the original cell? No, no way. So finally, it must be this one. We have our cell and it, it we make exact duplicate of it. So now we have two identical cells formed from one cell, but both of them have the, the same amount of DNA, the same organelles, they're identical, okay? So this is what mitosis looks like. Now the thing is, you must realize now, think about this, very, very key. It's impossible for the cell to just divide and be identical, right? That doesn't make sense. We can't just take the cell and split everything in two um, for it to be identical because then everything will be half, right? If we just divide the cell into two now, everything into two, the DNA into two, the organelles into two, then everything will be half in these two cells. And that's not right because it should be identical to the original cell, right? So you can imagine um, something needs to happen before the cell just divides in two. Everything in here needs to be duplicated. Everything first needs to be duplicated. And once everything is duplicated, then the cell can split. This way you form two cells that was identical to the original cell. Okay, that's very important. And if you don't get that, don't worry. We're going to talk about that now in detail. So mitosis, where exactly is mitosis? Where does it happen? When does it happen? Just like me and me. For access to our full-length premium videos and so much more, head over to teachme.org now.